and welcome to the first of a three-part series on the new iPod Shuffle, the third generation of the iPod Shuffle, in fact. We've actually got the previous generation up here. This is second generation. This is the third one. It's a little bit uh, narrower but taller, more in the shape of a stick of gum than before. Uh, taking a look at the back, it's all clip, like beforehand, so you can attach it to a shirt or a pair of gym shorts or something like that so that you don't lose it when you're exercising. The uh, switches on this, both on the one side of it, this one has on off on the one side and it also has a switch to switch you between loop mode and shuffle mode. This one actually integrates all three of them into a single form or into a single switch. So off on the one side, then loop and then shuffle. It's a little bit hard to, to make out the, the writing on there but it is right there. So doing a tour of that, there's, there's really not much else on this one. And uh, the first thing you may be wondering is well how do I control it? Obviously this one has the, the dial here that allows you to play and pause change your tracks and change your volume. This one doesn't really have that. So to uh, deal with that, I'll bring in the second one. This one also comes in black uh, in addition to the silver, both of them four gigabytes. Now how they've uh, gotten around that problem is by integrating it into the headphone cable. Now the previous generation obviously you would you'd press the, uh, the unit itself uh, to, to play, pause, or skip. And that wasn't always convenient because you'd be reaching down and, and not really looking necessarily to see where you're going. And remembering the orientation of the controls was sometimes a little bit uh, challenged. So you'd have to memorize that. Um, this one right here, it assumes that your headphone is always up. So you, reaching down the cord, you'll always have access to the volume control up on the top, volume control down on the bottom. So plus and minus acts as your volume control, just like on the iPhone. Now there's this button in the center here, and what that does is uh, it acts as your control for everything else. You might wonder how a single button could do that. So we'll just try it out here. To press play, we just press it once. And now we have our, our music playing. Press it again. That pauses it. And we'll get it going again so you can see the next bit. Now to skip forward on a track or to go back, you actually press it multiple times. So to go forward, you press twice. And that will go to the next track. Go back, you press three times. One, two, three. Like so. Now, in, in addition to that, uh, this button also has other features. One of them called voiceover. Now, none of the iPhone or the iPod shuffles have had an LCD screen, so you could never tell what was playing at any given time. Now, you think on a device that's that small, you wouldn't necessarily need to, you'd know what would be on it. Now that these are four gigabytes, that's a lot of room for things. And you may be just uh, having the, uh, your iTunes library automatically fill this, uh, this new little device with tracks. You might not know everything that you have on there. You may have bought a few things, or you just may have forgotten. So how they've gotten around this on this uh, new player is by holding down the button, it'll actually read out the name of the track using a computerized voice. Now that's done through iTunes, and it puts it onto the device when you load the uh, music into it. So by holding it down, again, it'll tell you what it is. When you press pause and you fast forward, every time you, uh, every time you go to another track, it'll actually read it out. So you'll know before you actually press play whether that's the right one. And once you hear what you want, you can just press play. Now the other feature on this is that if you hold it and hold it down even longer, it'll read out the name of the track, then it'll beep. and now it'll start reading out playlists. So previous generations of the iPod Shuffle didn't have playlisting, it was just one gigantic directory, which is a little bit inconvenient when you're going, going back and forth trying to find the tracks that you want. Now by having playlists, you can actually have several different uh, types of uh, moods on here, you know, one for a warm up, one for a cool down, one that's electronic, one that's world music, whatever you uh, want to listen to at any given time. And by doing that, you just hold it down until it starts reading out the playlists. Again, we'll do that again so you can hear it a bit more clearly. So wait till it beeps. And then we'll start reading it. And when you hear the playlist that you actually want, you press the button. And it'll go into that. Now if you hold it down, you can actually skip forward by pressing the plus or minus really quickly. And then by pressing that, 
uh, when you get to the one that you want. And that'll actually allow you to run through a whole pile of them very quickly without having to listen to them you know, for minutes on end. Anyways, that's the end of the first uh, part on this. We'll talk about playlist management and uh, dealing with the iPod Shuffle if you don't actually want to have to deal with these headphones on the two upcoming episodes.